Granada reports. One hundred homes have tonight been evacuated as a safety measure after a train carrying petrol was derailed and then exploded in a tunnel near Rochdale. Good evening. Full details of that crash story in just a couple of seconds. Also this evening, a report... An MP has tonight demanded an inquiry into Greater Manchester's third rail crash within a month. We've actually just heard also that 100 houses in Littleborough near Rochdale have had to be evacuated as a safety measure after this latest incident. Firemen had to flee from a rail tunnel between Littleborough and Todmorden after a rail tanker carrying thousands of gallons of petrol was derailed, caught fire and then exploded. Rob McLaughlin reports. The explosions and fires produced the most bizarre hillside scene imaginable. Two massive fires raged up the ventilation shaft, sending flames 150 feet into the air. Below, ten fuel tankers carrying 700 tonnes of petrol were alight, half a mile in from the West Yorkshire entrance to the summit tunnel. Nearby homes and shops were evacuated. The emergency services had no option but to simply stand by. Attempts to contain the blaze were frustrated because of the circumstances of the accident. This ICI train carrying petrol from Haverton Hill in Leeds to private sidings near Eccles entered the tunnel shortly after six this morning. The fifth tanker derailed and exploded. The driver and two guards who were on board ran the mile from the scene of the accident to the Manchester exit. They were uninjured. Three full frustrating hours followed with 140 firemen from West Yorkshire and Greater Manchester unable to connect hoses pushed through the ventilation shafts with pumping equipment inside the tunnel. Once the connection was made, fire officers were forced to evacuate the tunnel as the situation inside worsened and a second explosion looked imminent. We'd started to make an attack from the Manchester end of the tunnel using hose lines dropped down through a ventilation uh, shaft. The conditions worsened considerably. The ventilation shaft was, I suppose, about 100 yards from where the fire was and the stonework of the tunnel started to spall. That's when the, the granite chips and so on inside the, the stone start to uh, explode. Um, the smoke increased in intensity, the fire increased in intensity. Uh, we only had one way out, which was about a mile behind us down the tunnel. So I decided to withdraw the men. We were probably very near the entrance to the tunnel when it, when it actually went. Yes. Did you see it go up? No, there's a small bend in the tunnel which conceals you from the, the fire unless you've gone in perhaps, I don't know, half a mile. This is the third rail accident within a month in this region. Three people have died in two previous accidents. Miraculously, nobody was injured or killed in today's explosions and fires. British Rail say that they have been caused by an unfortunate series of mishaps and that there is no cause for concern about safety on the rails in this area. There aren't any parallels at all. There is quite clearly to me no common denominator to which you can ascribe the reason for this spate of mishaps which we've had lately. The Wiest accident near Salford was quite different and uh, the causes of that uh, are shortly to be determined by the Department of Transport in Manchester. The causes for this particular mishap will be totally unrelated to the same causes. So it's just a series of unfortunate mishaps, that's I'm what I'm afraid saying. so, yes. The local Littleborough MP, Geoffrey Dickens, visited the scene this morning and called for an immediate inquiry. Well, my first impression is I thank God that it happened in a tunnel because with a load of 700 tonnes of pure four-star petrol, we could have been talking about the loss of a housing estate just before Christmas. And uh, it raises some very important questions. It raises the question of the sort of vessels that uh, petroleum is being transported in by British Rail, but also a wider question. We've had three, three rail crashes now up in this region uh, within this month. And uh, certainly I should be calling for an inquiry from uh, Peter Walker in terms of energy and from Nicholas Ridgely in terms of the transportation of uh, these dangerous chemicals. This afternoon, the brigades were able to use high-expansion foam on the fire to blanket it out. The move was effective, reducing the intensity of this fierce fire. 
Rob McLaughlin reporting from the hills above Littleborough on that crash. Tonight, please advise people not to smoke near streams and rivers in the Rochdale, Littleborough and Todmorden area. This is because fuel from the overturned tankers is seeping into surface water in the area. However, the Water Authority does say that drinking water is not affected. And we will be uh, following the course for an inquiry into that uh, third accident in the Greater Manchester area here on Granada. Thank you.